بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از پریکٹیکل نمبر ٹویلو آف لائف اسٹاک فیڈ ریسورسز اینڈ فارج کنزرویشن ان دس پریکٹیکل وی ول پرفارم فیڈ فارمولیشن بائی ٹرائل اینڈ ایرر میتھڈ پریویسلی وی ڈیڈ فیڈ فارمولیشن بائی یوزنگ پیئرسن اسکیئر میتھڈ دس از اے گڈ میتھڈ فار ریمیننٹ فیڈ فارمولیشن اینڈ اٹ از بیسڈ آن سم تھم رولس these thumb rules are based on dry matter intake and then dividing this dry matter intake into roughage and concentrate in trial and error method first of all we have to calculate the dry matter intake of an animal the exact dry matter intake values can be obtained from nrc table or you can follow these thumb rules that i have taken Uh, from those tables as an average value cow can consume up to 2.5 percent of their live body weight as dry matter it means if an animal body weight is 100 kg that animal will require 2.5 kg of dry matter in case of buffalo this value is 3 percent sheep 3.5 to 4.5 percent horse 2 to 2.5 percent and in case of beef animal it is 2 to 2.7% of their live body weight so in case of dairy animals as a routine practice we divide this dry matter intake into two component uh, because in ruminant animals uh, we uh, have to provide roughage as well as concentrate and even if we are making a tmr ration then again we have to add fiber portion in the diet so this total dry matter intake is divided into two component the one is roughage second one is concentrate roughage is roughly two third of the dry matter intake and again this roughage intake is further divided into green and dry roughages but under some production system only a uh, one type of roughage is given either it is a silage or hay then the total dry matter intake can be offered in that way however if you are feeding uh, dry and wet roughage is separately then two third of the total roughage intake should be given through uh, green roughages and one third of the total roughage intake should be given through dry roughage and the concentrated intake is one third of the total dry matter intake now here is uh, an example of 500 kg cow i have divided that 500 kg animal in uh, cow and buffalo in cow its dry matter intake is 12.5 kg whereas in case of buffalo it is 15 kg so next this uh, total intake like if we you if we are uh, taking this animal uh, buffalo as an example then we can uh, divide the total intake into two one is the roughage intake this is two third of the dry matter intake so two third or 15 is 10 kg then this total roughage intake is divided into two component wet roughage intake and dry roughage intake wet roughage is two third of the total roughage intake so two third of 10 is 6.66 kg and dry roughage is one third of the total roughage intake so it is one third of 10 is equal to 3.34 kg then come the concentrate intake this is one third of the total dry matter intake total dry matter intake in this case is 15 kg so one third of total dry matter intake is 5 kg so 5 kg is concentrate 10 kg is roughages and out of that 10 6.67 kg is green or wet roughage 3.34 is dry roughage so for formulating diet under this trial and error uh, method first of all we have to calculate the nutrient requirement of an animal for its maintenance production pregnancy and then sum up all the nutrient requirement as a step 2 uh, we have to decide about the feed stuff we have to uh, enlist available feed stuff and their chemical composition then as a step 3 uh, we have to calculate the dry matter intake of that animal and that dry matter intake will be divided into roughage and concentrate as we have discussed uh, earlier step 4 we have to do the calculation first for roughages and then for the concentrate so whatever is available from the fixed quantity of roughages fed according to the dry matter intake the leftover nutrient requirement of the animal should be met from the concentrate 
now we have an example of 500 kg cow who is producing 15 liter of milk with 3.5 percent butter fat so as a step one calculate the nutrient requirement of animal either directly from the nrc table or follow instruction given in the previous practical for those body weights and quantity of butter fat that has not been listed in the nrc table so here for this example i have taken the maintenance requirement directly from the table this animal require 8.46 mega calorie of net energy for lactation and 364 gram converted into kg as 0.364 kg of crude protein and for milk production there is 3.5 percent butter fat this value is directly available in the table you can put over here and then multiply it with the quantity of milk produced by the animal so this animal is producing 15 liter of milk so multiply it with 0.69 any required for per liter of milk production so total is 10.35 and for protein 84 gram is required so multiply it with 15 to get a value of 1260 or 1.26 kg of protein then sum up the nutrient required for maintenance and production the total become 18.81 and 1.624 for protein however if uh, butter fat content they are not listed we can use the table uh, we cannot use the table in that case we can use uh, this equation uh, that convert any quantity of butter fat into 4 percent fat corrected milk so we have discussed in previous practical and we did calculations but for the sake of this example uh, use the equation as 0.4 into quantity of milk plus 15 into quantity of fat as the quantity of milk is 15 to 0.4 into 15 plus 15 into quantity of fat you can calculate uh, the quantity of fat 3.5 percent uh, is converted and it become 0.525 kg then sum up these two we get a value of 3.875 so this 3.875 is the quantity of milk uh, that is on 4 percent butter fat so here uh, just keep in mind that when we convert a milk with less than 4 percent butter fat into 4 percent butter fat we get a less quantity of milk produced but if animal is producing milk with more than 4 percent butter fat and when we convert it on 4 percent butter fat we have a milk quantity more than the actually produced by the animal so in this case there is a 3.5 percent butter fat with 15 liter so the quantity uh, is less uh, than the actual 15 so on 4 percent this animal is producing 13.875 kg of milk now by using the value of here given in the table as red for 4 percent butter fat 0 0.74 it should be multiplied with 13.875 and for protein 0 0.090 multiplied by 13.875 so almost you will get the same values so for this 500 kg uh, convert it into uh, dry matter basis uh, the dry matter intake is calculated on 2.5 percent because this animal is cow so 2.5 percent of 500 kg is 12.5 kg so this animal in total required 12.5 kg of dry matter and for roughage intake uh, convert this total dry matter intake uh, into roughage as two-third and concentrate as one-third so two-third of total dry matter intake it means two-third of 12.5 is 8.33 kg and one-third of 12.5 is 4.7 4.17 kg so this is the amount of roughage and concentrate required by the animal but for roughage we have to convert it into green and dry as the usual practice of being feeding to the animal so two-third of 12.5 uh, is 8.33 right or 8.33 is the quantity of roughage required by the animal so calculate two-third of this so two-third of 8.33 is 5.5 kg and one-third of 8.33 is 2.78 kg so as a summary this animal required 12.5 kg of total diameter and out of that 8.33 from the roughage and 4.17 from the concentrate so 8.33 roughage is further divided into dry and green green is 5.55 and dry is 2.78 then as a next step 
uh, enlist all the available feed stuff and their chemical composition or all at least those nutrients for which you are going to balance the ration here we have bersim as a green fodder or green roughage wheat straw as a dry roughages so these two are the roughage component of the diet and then cotton seed cake maize grain and wheat bran as a concentrate component cotton seed cake as a protein source maize grain and wheat bran are the choker or uh, <laughs> they are the energy sources of the ration so enlist their chemical composition for further calculations 9.05 uh, we get a value of 9.76 so 8.81 minus 9.05 it is 9.76 and 1.0624 minus 1.07 is 0.54 so these values written in red against these balance or balance or remaining requirement so this is the amount of nutrients that we will have to provide from the concentrate portion right so uh, this is uh, simply a thumb rule for uh, using uh, uh, values on a fresh matter basis so on fresh matter basis animal require green fodder as 10 percent of the body weight so if uh, uh, we have an animal with 500 kg body weight so it means that animal roughly require 50 kg of body weight uh, 50 kg of green fodder in a fresh matter basis uh, because the moisture content they are varied with the uh, animal uh, with the varied with the type of order sorry so in that case uh, we should only uh, uh, given here uh, the example of uh, fodder which contain 18 percent moisture so if there is an 80 percent moisture then the remaining 20 percent is the dry matter so simply uh, if we multiply the amount of roughages with this 5 we get the value of total roughages required by the animal so it become 42 kg so if we remember uh, uh, the common practice of feeding an adult animal in our local area that is around 35 to 40 kg of green fodder they said we are feeding one man or one palla so that palla is about 40 kg of green fodder roughly and they are feeding 4 5 kg of the wheat straw so it means our calculated values by using these thumb rules they are almost equal to the values that uh, that an ordinary farmer is feeding to the animal because this is a trial and error method and it is not a very sophisticated technique so uh, for a small farmer uh, it uh, it is a good technique to calculate the uh, ration uh, formulation or to calculate the amount of feed stuff required by that animal so next come uh, to fulfill the balanced nutrients of that animal so for that we have cotton seed cake maize grain and wheat bran or commonly known as choker similarly uh, you can put the chemical composition over here and then multiply it with the quantity so from where we can get the quantity so this all depend on the formulator so he can use cotton seed cake 2 kg maize grain 2 kg and only 0.17 kg of wheat bran and then calculate how much amount of nutrients they are available so if the available nutrients they are equal to 9.76 for energy and 0.554 for protein so it means the ration is balanced uh, because uh, the total amount of concentrate should not be 4.17 so you can adjust the value if it is not balancing the nutrient required by the animal so that's why it is known as trial and error because if you uh, if you would if you wouldn't be able to get uh, the required amount of nutrient then you have to change the quantity like the protein is uh, coming on the higher side then you can reduce the amount of cotton seed cake you can increase the amount of energy sources either corn grain or wheat bran but keep in mind the total of these three cotton seed maize and wheat should not be more than 4.17 and after calculation the available nutrient from these three feeds have should be equal to uh, 9.76 for energy and 0.554 for the protein so it that ration then will be a balanced ration so again uh, if uh, we are not able to get these uh, uh, nutrients then again we have to change the quantity of the ingredients uh, keeping in mind the total quantity so uh, do again and again so this is the technique which is a trial and error but there is another way uh, to avoid uh, this multiple time calculations simply if uh, you are able to formulate a concentrate with a fixed quantity of energy or 
you are recommending a farmer uh, for uh, for any available concentrate uh, from the market side so you have to look at the energy content of the concentrate like in this example i have a concentrate that contain 1.75 mega kali of inert energy on per kg basis then you can uh, by using the remaining nutrient requirement of energy in our case it is 9.76 so 9.76 divided by the amount of energy in the concentrate that is 1.75 we get a value that value is 5.58 so this is the amount of concentrate uh, if we feed at a rate of 5.58 kg to our animal that will provide 9.76 mega kali of energy so in this way you can do calculation uh, though the quantity of concentrate is little almost more than 1 kg is higher than the diameter intake of the animal you can ask why we are feeding on a higher rate the answer is animal have a physical capacity and that physical capacity uh, can be little bit more or less than the average value we use during the calculation so physically animal sometimes can eat more like we can eat more uh, if we like something so uh, there's one or two kg is not a big issue for a ruminant animals who have a strong uh, rumen uh, capacity of about uh, 150 liter of water holding capacity so you can adjust your ration but keep in mind that while adjusting you have also keep in mind the price if you increase the quantity then uh, what would be the price uh, you are going to offer to the animal uh, that is another uh, a way of uh, looking at the economic of the ration formulation so uh, thank you uh, for this and uh, uh, as a take home question you have to uh, formulate a diet for again uh, 500 kg cow but using 12 liter of milk with 3.2% butter fat the available feed stuff they are different from this question you have to use maize fodder concentrate uh, ingredients will remain the same but you will have to use maize fodder as a green roughage component thank you